guys, it's me, LPS Galaxy here. Today we are doing how to make a good pony medium level. So last video we did the easy level. So if you're first starting out on Ponytown, you literally just noticed that Ponytown existed and you recently started playing. So the easy video is meant for you to at least make some decent ponies when you first start out. But this video is for somebody who has been playing Ponytown for a while and who knows the basics about how making a pony. So basically you watched my easy video. So now you want to move up to the medium level. So that's what this video is for. Um, but if you're first starting out and you want to start with the medium level, then this video is also for you. It's for whatever case scenario you want. So, um... Last time, we made this little fella right here. So we're going to make him again, but with more details. Um, I think that will be definitely really fun to do. So the first thing that I'm going to do is allow custom outlines. So make sure you click this little box up here. And this will definitely make your pony look so much better. We're not going to do don't uh, darken outlines just yet. We're going to save that. But for now, we're just going to make our pony. So for the outlines, I usually always match up the outlines. As you can see, it still does darken the outlines. But I want to save uh, that for the harder levels. I don't want to overcomplicate things, so I'm really trying to make it as simple as possible. Um, so we're just going to do the gradient that we did last time. I promise you guys, it's going to be a good pony, and it's going to look really good once you start really noticing how to do all this stuff. Um, I don't remember what leg we started on, but... Now the ponies are going to look different from each other because I don't know exactly where everything was on the last pony, but I don't think it really matters. Um, so just adjust the colors, you know, do a little simple gradient. And then you're going to go over here. Now this is what I first out started doing when I was creating ponies, when I f first started doing more advanced stuff. I would... Uh, match it so I gotta do is just copy and paste and match the color not only will this give you a better gradient it looks a lot smoother now it doesn't look that good if you don't have the don't uh, darken outlines thing on but like I said before I would want to save that for uh, the hard level I mean it's not really that hard it's literally just clicking the little button but I kind of want to save it for them because I want y'all to start as easy. Like this is medium level. Um, all right, so now you have that. So last time our pony had a horn, so we're gonna do a horn real quick. And then at the end of the video, last video, I forgot to show y'all what pony I usually play as. Um, so this video I am going to show y'all because I forgot last time. Um, and then at the end we're going to compare it to the previous pony that we made to see how much an improvement this really makes. For the ears, this is still the medium level so we're going to keep the ears the same. When we, get to the when we get to the hard level the ears will change so keep that in mind. Then we're going to change things up a little bit. But for now, for medium level, we're going to just keep the ears the same. We're just going to copy and paste the colors over. It's going to look very simple, but it's going to look really good. And it's going to look a lot better than the pony we made last time. I think it's already turning out a little bit better. Okay, so last time, I don't remember what main we used. Let me save that pony real quick. Go to example. Yeah, we use that hair. So let me get the color of the hair. 
because I'm trying to make it exactly the same. So we used that here last time. We used um, that color. By the way, guys, use whatever colors you want. You do not have to use the same colors I'm using, but um, these are just colors I naturally go to when I'm making a pony, so it just what I always choose, but it's really up to you what you want to do with your pony. Anyways, we're going to continue just adding the gradient we did from last time. It's not going to look exactly the same, I don't think, but it's going to look uh, pretty much the same. Hopefully I can make it as similar as possible because I kind of want to do that. Try to make them look exactly the same, just more detailed depending on the pony. A lot of the copy and pasting involved. You don't have to copy and paste. Copy and paste. Oh, I can't speak English. I just think it's so much easier to do it that way. But uh, you can do whatever you want. So this is what our pony looks like so far. I think he's turning out pretty well. I think he's looking better than the original pony because he is supposed to be an improvement from our last one. So let's save him real quick and get the uh, tail, which is the same color as the mane. I just need to know what tail we used. We used that one. I know this is a lot of work, and I know this is probably going to take you a while to get to here, but that's kind of what this series is for. I don't know if I should do, I don't know if I should have done a super easy one, but I wanted to do, um, you know, different things, but... I don't know what I'm going to do for hard. I know I like a couple hard things that I think would definitely make the pony look better. I know what I'm going to do for advanced. Um, so keep on the lookout for these videos, you guys, if you're new to the whole Ponytown thing. By the way, how is quarantine going for y'all? Leave a comment down below. We're almost done with this pony. I know this video is long, and I know y'all are probably like tired of watching me copy and paste, but I gotta make this pony along with you. Okay, so now we got the mane and the tail done. He's already looking really great. Sorry, I have to keep on going back to the original so I can get the colors right, because I do want to make sure colors are exactly right so that way when we do compare them you can definitely see the difference uh, for the eyes last time I did not change anything about the eyes but today since this is a medium level pony we're gonna change the eyelash color to match, uh, to be a little bit darker than the iris color, kind of like that. And we're also going to change the eye shape. So we're getting into um, medium territory here. We're not going to change the eye whites. So it's going to stay as white. For the nose, we're not going to change anything about it quite yet. I think it should stay the same for medium level. Um, the other medium level thing. I mean, I think this is all the medium level stuff I could really think of, of doing, honestly, because the other stuff is more hard than medium level. So let's save him real quick. And I think he's about finished. Yeah, he's basically finished. So let's go look at the other one. So, uh, oh, wait, we forgot his little hoodie. I totally forgot that he had one. Um, whoops, sorry guys, I totally forgot he had a hoodie. Um, that's okay, we're going to add his little hoodie in a second. I'll show you how to do his hoodie. I knew I was forgetting something, but I didn't know what. We're just going to do the same thing from last time where we, um, 
basically just did that. I'm just going to copy and paste a lot because it's a lot easier to do it that way. And again, we're going to match the colors. Won't look too much different from the other one, but yeah. Okay, so anyways, we're going to save that. Now he's finished. All right, so let's go look what he looks like. All right, so here is the one that we did from the last video, and here's what we did for now. As you can see, it is a major improvement, I would say. It definitely does look a lot better, a lot smoother on the eyes, and it does look like a medium level pony, I think. So there is the medium level pony. I hope this series will help y'all out, and I'll see y'all in the hard level.